Hey man, y'all was watching the Super Bowl last night, bro. Woo! Man, that boy Pat is special, bro. I'm telling you, man. Don't ever bet against bro. You smart, bro. Don't bet against him, bro. Just don't do it, bro. Three Super Bowls already, bro. 28, three MVP, Super Bowl MVPs, bro. Nah, bro. It might repeat, man. They might, it might, it might hit a three-peat, man. You never know. We'll see, though. All right, it's looking. But um, we back with another... um. We back with another slap ham reaction vid. Let's get it. Creepy footage that needs to be seen. I'm rocking with these, bro. Like, honestly. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see Mystery some of the most mysterious shit is... videos going around the internet. Tell so you how you, how you, how you on the edge. Get ready for some creepy content, just like this. Hello. <clears throat> this is a warning. Please go check outside your home. Recently, several videos have appeared online claiming to show cursed footage of a mysterious dolphin man. Take a look. Please go check outside your home. This is not real. While some claim that the footage was rediscovered on the dark web, these videos are actually not a new phenomenon. Please go check outside your home. Please go check outside your home. Versions of the footage have actually been around <clears throat> for years. Oh no, but clips that, often blending elements of the absurd, the surreal, and the disturbing leave viewers feeling like, uneasy and disoriented, mm -hmm. partly due to their surreal content and partly because of the uncanny valley effect. The dolphin man's not quite human appearance can be deeply unsettling. This is a warning. Couple that with the fact that many people claim that this footage is cursed. Please go check outside your home. Please go Should check I be outside watching it, your dude? home. In fact, according no, them curses, to one report, them the footage supposedly some of them caused more be than real. 800 people to faint back in 2004, and the clip was subsequently banned from various social media sites. In the video, the dolphin man can be seen making strange faces at the camera. On some versions, there's even scrolling text that's said to hide a secret message. While the videos can certainly appear unnerving, it turns out that their origin is far more mundane. The original Dolphin Man video, titled Dolphin Muzzle, was uploaded to YouTube on the 31st of December 2007 by user NorthFurFX. And that may be a costume, it might just be a costume. I don't know. Facial prosthetics. The footage created to highlight the work of a special effects company yeah, is special effects, to be yeah, I'll or even hold too, a secret message. However, this doesn't make the actual Dolphin Man <clears throat> seen in the video any less creepy. Please go check outside your home. I mean, Please makeup artists can do that, bro. Man, your makeup home. artists can. Man. Please go check outside your I don't believe this one, y'all. I'm going to keep it 100. This is not real. The following messages being transmitted at the request of the team. Here's one thing you need to do before buying anything Thank online. Up, Don't bro. spend another dime on Amazon yeah. until you watch this first. Watch this. We got close as hell, bro. What you trying to do? Fascinating submission to our Slaptam subreddit, user PrestonHead5 shared an intriguing photograph that's since sparked a wave of curiosity and speculation. Captured back in 2007, 2008, the image features the poster and a friend. But it's what lurks in the background that's drawn attention. Behind the duo on the wall appears a mysterious and somewhat unsettling face. One theory suggested by a viewer is that the face is simply a case of pareidolia caused by the shadow of the flowers in the vase. 
Others lean towards a more paranormal explanation, however, speculating about the presence of an otherworldly entity or a ghostly apparition captured inadvertently. Oh no. Given the photo's age, it adds an additional layer some good ones of mystery. Out, on. he Early some good, 2000s were a time before good the photos use out, of sophisticated I don't, I don't photo editing tools, which lends a degree of authenticity to the image and its mysterious background figure. <clears throat> so what do you think? Is the face really the result of a shadow? Or is there a more supernatural reason for its sudden appearance? In this video, shared by TikTok user trying to vibe 33 we see something that might prove that contact from the beyond might truly be possible. When the woman, seen on the right's father passed away, she bought a snow globe to remember him by. The item seemed to have stopped working. However, watch what happens as she celebrates the new year with her mother. The snow globe suddenly starts playing a tune. Could it be that the woman's said, father is not attempting work, to make contact with his family? While the whole situation might simply be a remarkable coincidence, one does have yeah, to wonder but did about they come the timing. In, did, did, yeah, no. Whatever the reason, it seems that the most oh, important no. thing is that the woman and her mother received a sense of comfort during this time of togetherness. Oh, it's oh. to like be my dad. <laughs> oh, that's a wholesome ass moment. I ain't gonna lie, but bro, that's trippy as hell. If, if she telling In the truth, that's trippy. Revelation that's captured the attention. Oh, just a good time and Photographer thing. Joseph Ian Alley shared an intriguing photograph to Facebook, which he stumbled upon while organizing his collection. The photo, taken 12 years ago, features a local rock band from Staten Island, New York, and was intended for their CD cover. The setting for this photo shoot was an abandoned hospital. Ian Alley, now retired, recounts that during the shoot, only five people were present. And I love these, these slap ham videos, man. Band members. Ooh, I know y'all rocking with them too, man. revisiting the image, you know, I like there's something these inexplicable like, that eluded detection. I, like, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, man. Like, Good in the ass image, content. At the bottom of a doorway, there appears to be a ghostly face peering out. The photographer has since questioned whether the image has captured she a ghost. Me off. I was like, what the hell? Entirely unexplainable. The location, an old abandoned hospital, only adds to the mystery that's a human, of the photograph. I don't really know. Hospitals, especially abandoned ones, often carry stories and legends of their own, making them perfect backdrops for unexplained phenomena. Whether this is a trick and of the line, seen or that, if I ever, bro, I wouldn't even go around there, bro. That picture just so the, the girls, However, in this the girl case, standing right there in the hall, it does no. indeed look as though a ghostly face has been captured on camera. I wouldn't even go near that, but I mean, if that was like it was like a case scenario, or like. You know, I had to or something. Be first on your block to have Tacus Fiber Internet. Shit happened we keep internet to get 100 percent frustration I'm free. So you can stop putting up with video that, calls, home. loading screens, and spotty streams. We even come. Ever seen some shit like that, man? I'm gone. When man, Reddit use somebody with me, they gotta be gone too. Clip online and stood up quite a buzz. I'm gonna like, snatch your head. Come on. About to be stuck and shit, stunned. Like, nah, we gone, bro. Ain't even gonna play with that. Hell no. Nah. As the girl focuses on her reflection, a small, dark shape oh, hell no. past the door with hell, startling bro, kick. speed. The shape moves so quickly, it is bro. easy to miss on first watch. Bro, time to go, noticed, bro. It's impossible to ignore. Hell no. It's time to go. It's GG's, bro. Hell no. Hell no. The fleeting nature of the shape has been likened to that of a shadow person, a type of supernatural entity some believe to be momentarily visible in one's periphery. So then, 
what could it actually be? We'll throw this one over to you, the viewers, for final judgment. Is it just on the a key, passing right? person, perhaps and a then... dog, or does the shape simply move too fast to be either? Let me know where yes. you land on this one in the comments down oh, below. Oh, nah, 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 that's something else. That ain't no goddamn little kid, bro. That's something else. Hell no, nah, that, that nigga. That's Before something we else. dig into the story behind one of the most infamous I believe ghost that's photos else, ever bro. captured, in, in that video remember to right hit there? that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. When it comes to supposed paranormal locations in the city of Coventry in the UK, one stands out, St Mary's Guildhall. This architectural marvel, dating back to around 1340, has been a centrepiece of Coventry's history. As the former hub of the city's wealthiest merchant guild, it's seen a procession of notable figures, from kings like Henry V, VI and VII, to the imprisoned Queen <coughs> Mary of Scots. The latter's stay no, no, has still like, tales I'll be saying the apparitions no, haunting the guild hall uh, for centuries. Don't come for my top on it. Among the eerie occurrences and I say it like that because I really mean it. Hell from no. spectral chance to mysterious stone You're not throwing, with the most persistent and intriguing is the sighting of a ghostly monk. This legend was thrust into the limelight following a remarkable that event during back in 1985. On January 22nd, the city of Coventry Freeman's Guild held its annual dinner, graced by the Lord Mayor, Lady Mayoress, Councillor Walter Brandish and his wife. A photographer, catching the moment of prayer before the meal, unwittingly snapped a chilling mm. image <clears throat> that would captivate ghost hunters globally. The developed photograph yeah, and these cameras, a man. figure Look. standing near the... I'm gonna tell y'all this, something about these cameras, bro. Somebody, somebody these cameras just detect. It, it detect other like it, it can detect like a, a spirit and shit or an entity or something like that. And we if we see it in real life, it just it look completely normal. But the camera, bro, something about these cameras, man, they show they show shit we can't even see without them. I'm telling you, bro, just like the dogs having them, the dogs seeing, like I said, in my um, one of my other slapped hand reactions. Dogs, man, they got, they vision is probably like infrared or something. That's why they be barking that shit. Like, what the hell are you barking at? It be a spirit, bro. It be some type of entity, something, man. I'm telling you. I really believe that, bro. With all my heart, bro, I believe that, bro. I believe that shit, dog. It's the cameras and the dogs, like. The end of a table adjacent to the renowned Coventry Tapestry. The mystery deepened as no one present I know I'm yapping. I know I'm yapping, bro. During the prayers, I really do Nor truly believe that, bro. In a similar fashion. It's something about it. Furthermore, the photographer had supposedly not seen the figure while taking the shot. Adding to the intrigue, the ghostly monk might have made another appearance in recent times. In 2014, during a visit <clears throat> by Irish President Michael Higgins to the Guildhall, a Coventry Telegraph photographer captured an image of the President delivering a speech. Upon review, an inexplicable floating shape was noticed in the photo. Its position just behind the President and again near the Coventry Tapestry. These lingering mysteries, coupled with the Guildhall's storied past, continue to fascinate and perplex both locals and visitors alike. Whether the spectral monk is a genuine, otherworldly visitor or simply a series of coincidences or optical illusions, the stories add a hauntingly beautiful layer to Coventry's rich history. Now, in case you haven't heard mm -hmm. the awesome news, we've launched a brand new second man, I channel. With you, bro. If you want to see the latest episode, check out that link man, on the top I, I, there. Man, I fuck with you, Otherwise, bro. there's a spooky no, playlist man, there you can binge on. Man, these now, videos video so comment down below which one of these interesting, you bro. Is the scariest or weirdest. We love hearing your feedback. Oh, man, I'm glad, man. I'm glad I... I mean... Nah, this is some crazy shit, bro. Like, you got really got to be like... Your mind got to be like expansive for it because if it's not, you're going to be like, damn, I don't believe, I don't believe that, I don't believe that. You no, know, some stuff I'd be skeptical about, you know, I ain't, you know, I ain't going to be naive about it, but most of this stuff, man, I'm telling you, bro, like most of this stuff, bro, ooh. Man, 
Y'all make sure to like, comment, subscribe, man. Like, I'm gonna keep these rolling. You already know. Good video, though, bro. Keep it up.